Hello, everyone. I am Lee Carroll, and I'm sitting right next to somebody you know, or you wouldn't be on this particular page watching this, and that is Dr. Amber Wolf, and that is Melly Ha. Melly Ha is your Lemurian name given to you by yes. Cryon. Yeah. You probably remember that. I do. <laughs> 2013. Oh, 2013? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was just yesterday. Yeah. Well, we're about to tell you something that happened in 2020 that reflects on what is going to happen very soon. And that's an exciting announcement about some new information and a new course. And it all has to do with Cryon's instructions to Melly Ha. Something happened February 15th in 2020 in Sacramento, a public channeling that we had in a sisterhood. And what happened there is, again, Cryon gave Melly Ha instructions. Now, this, I think, was the last, you said that was the next of the last meeting? Yes. Before COVID? Yes. Oh. I, <laughs> you know, if it hadn't been timed like that, we probably wouldn't be sitting here. Exactly. Yeah. Well, actually, we probably would, but Cryon finds ways of doing this. But yes. I want you folks Indeed. to listen to these instructions given by Cryon publicly. Melly Ha. There is another wheel, and it's the shamanic teaching wheel. Crying means another wheel because we were doing the Lemurian teaching wheel, and that was uh, revealed in 2017. And Crying says, there is another wheel. Now, we haven't really even been teaching the Lemurian wheel. Uh, we will, but here comes another wheel, even you know, in the, in the process of understanding what we had. There is another wheel, Meliha. You taught it in Lemuria, and you're going to teach it Again, don't you love it when Crian gives you instructions and tells you what you did? Sacred assignments. Sacred, sacred assignments. <laughs> this wheel is similar to the main teaching wheel, according to Crian. It has five spokes, and each of them are named and titled for the shamanic teaching of women. This information will be given to you. Crian continues. This shamanic teaching wheel is profound. It's specially for women since women are the shamans, or shawomen, mm. of the planet. There is so much to teach that you can teach it for years and never cover the same information. This is because the teaching is driven by the dynamics of the time. It's driven by current events and reactions to current events. Shamanic teaching is not just facts and numbers, again, according to Cryon, but how you deal with the attributes of your culture in your time. A shaman, or shawoman, is one who stands and works with the changing world of paradigms and life, just like a woman who has to deal with growing children. It's different every day. It requires intuition, understanding, compassion, and, of course, patience. Now, something happened. And what happened next, I want to tell you, is the real meat of it. Yes. So these were the instructions given to Cryon and then nothing happened. And, and then nothing happened until February 20, uh, in 2020, in Miami. Yep. So it's not... Um, it was the next weekend. Yeah, it wasn't like a lot of time for you no. to ponder. No. <laughs> and, <laughs> but this was private. Do you want to talk about how, how that happened? A private channeling, Yes, first of all. a private channeling. And this was a download that woke Lee up in mm -hmm. the middle of the night at 3 a.m. and... Mm -hmm. All this information was given to him between the week before and this week when Cryon said, this is what it's about. This mm -hmm. is the shamanic teaching wheel, and this is the message for Meliha. I'm really glad it happened quickly, too, because in the past, there have been some instructions given, and you sat there and waited. So Years, I, a couple times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this one was, was a, in a week. Here is the, again, this is, I am reading what Cryon had to say. Meliha, this is the wheel for shamanic teaching of women, and it is yours to teach. I want everybody to hear that because this is what Crying is saying from Lemuria. You taught it before, and now it's yours to teach. And I love that because this is truly more than an assignment. It's, it's mm -hmm. a blessing. It's so I just... Very much. Yeah. yeah. The time is now, is now right for this new project, what Crying says. Everything you've done so far is the foundation. Uh, and what I think Crying means the sisterhood in general. Yes. Everything yeah. that you've done here is the foundation. And this is what you're trained for. So again, we have the shamanic teaching wheel as the name of this wheel. 
there are five spokes, as Crian said, just like he's, he said, just like the regular Lemurian teaching wheel. And what we're going to do now is to identify the spokes because we want you to get a flavor for what this teaching is going to be about. We're going to identify them, name them, and, and actually read what Crian said in the instructions to Meli Ha. There are five. So let me tell you what they are. They're fire, air, Crian identified as wind, earth, water, Crian has defined as ceremony, and culture. Now, you might ask about the hub and the surrounding things. That's not part of the teaching, but I'll just tell you what Crian says. The hub is self or source, just like before, the creative source. The rim is others in your world. That's not what the teaching is going to be about. We're going to have Melly Hall concentrate on the five spokes, fire, air, earth, water, and culture. So we're going to read what Crian has given mm -hmm. as the definition of that. And Amber, I'm going to ask you to start okay. with fire. So fire we would not normally think of as this, but this is what Crian gave. This spoke is redefined as personal drama, trauma, anger, fear, anxiety, turmoil, and unrest inside of us. Fire teaching is clearly identified to those attributes in a student's life, and how do we deal with them? There are so many subconscious patterns that are that fire pattern, and they're carried with us, and they're carried in our Akash to this day. And the ceremonies around this spoke are given to release those, like the leaf burning ceremony given in Lemuria that was also given in a cryon channeling. So we turn now to the next one, which is air. This different, redefined completely, we're calling this, cryon's calling this, wind, because air is static and wind is moving. This spoke is about the movement of invisible things. Gals, listen. Intuition, awareness, innate, and communication. Can you imagine how deep this training can be with those things which women truly, I think, understand? Anything you cannot put your finger on <laughs> <laughs> in moving energy is included in air. This is not about breath, as you might have been previously taught. It's about moving, changing energies within you. Then the earth spoke is about grounding and its stability and maturity, wisdom and wisdom keeping. It's also about balance and harmony. And naturally it's about our beautiful partner, the earth, as it relates to the shamanic energies. The wisdom keepers of the planet all knew Gaia and worked with those energies. So this partnership really is critical in understanding how to generate grounding, how to generate maturity in your own life and your stability, and to understand your wisdom. So then we go to water. This spoke is being redefined as ceremony. Now, it's odd that I'm going to tell you about ceremony because Meli Ha is the one <laughs> who knows most about it and does it. That's on purpose because I'm going to give you some information that you didn't expect about ceremony according to Cryon. Ceremony was the main teaching method of Lemuria. Indigenous populations of this planet still use it exactly for that before modern society we have today. Orality and song were often the main attributes given in ceremony. This is ceremony for every spoke as well. There'll be ceremony in every, all of the other spokes, but this one, water, is specifically about ceremony. Water was the main symbology in storytelling in Lemuria since the sea was the focus of a life-giving force. Ceremony, are you ready for this, is also storytelling. Mm. If you know about the indigenous, you know how this works. Delivered by the elders, those stories were told for generations because they contained the history and the morals of the society. It was often sung. It was danced, even drawn in the sand or on leaves, drawn on leaves. There's no limit to the way you can teach with ceremony. And this spoke culture. Now this one is different. It's not an element, but it is. So the 
four previous spokes fit into a certain category. This is different, it's unique. And depending on who you are and where you live, this spoke will be different. It is your culture, but it is also part of the wheel and the way that it's used, being taught through your culture. So your culture is your gender, and it's, it's your outward culture's reaction to your gender, and it represents your self-worth, who you are as a woman in the world. Your body also is a culture. It's masculine or feminine or neutral or another gender. It itself represents how you think, how you live, and how you react to your culture, how your culture reacts to you. And then it postures you. How do you love? How do you fear? How do you move in the world? How are you honored? And what role you play in parenting? When a shaman, a Shaw woman, sit down and work with a person who's come to them for help, the first thing they do is to find out the culture of the person that they're working with. So this spoke is about working with your own culture, your inner culture, your outer culture that surrounds you, and learning how to work with those who have come from another culture. This spoke is really learning about the air, fire, earth, and water culture spokes from culture to culture. Then and only then, Truly, can a shaman or a shaw woman understand and help those people that come to them? It's a lot of information. It, indeed. Uh, I think the one that's culture will probably be the, the most profound, only because uh, it, in, yeah, it incorporates all the others. And yeah. some of those things are triggers about how your culture sees you yeah. as a woman and all. Mm -hmm. And these things you're going to teach. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. And this is the, the whole reason we're here. This is a course. These are classes and classes and classes. And this is shamanic teaching directly from the Star Mothers right to something that, that I love this, that's something you've known and something that you're going to have to pull from your kosh yep. like you have the whole sisterhood yes. and begin teaching. Where do they see this? You can find any information about the shamanic teaching wheel on my website, amberwolfphd.com. Shamanic Teaching Wheel has its own little universe inside my website. So go there, find out more, and learn with me. I hope to see you soon.